finally speak with you, John. My name is Adiola. Delilah is my mother. When I learned the true name of Lamashtu, the demon made Jenny push me off the cliff. Fortunately, my mother was able to hide my soul from Lamashtu. Thanks to her, I can talk with you. I know you have the artifact in which the beast was trapped. Burn it. When the fire has reduced the book to ashes, you'll know the real name of Lamashtu. Take these shells. They'll help you to use the demon's name against her. Once the book was destroyed, Delilah acquired her new power, and I thought the demon was done for. But Lamash too broke the chain and ran towards the old witch. Was I scared? I don't know. I was simply watching, as though I was spellbound. However, neither I nor the witch were surprised when the spirit of Delilah's daughter appeared. Adiola gave us hope. Then. I heard a deafening explosion, and a bright light blinded me. When I could see again, I saw Michael hugging Jenny at the edge of the cliff. I didn't see any traces of the fight or of its participant, although the smell of ozone hung in the air. After Jenny recovered, Michael sold the estate and returned to America. Today, we live close to each other, and our families spend holidays together. We talk about the past, but try to not mention the house by the cliff. Jenny is growing like a weed. Thankfully, she's nearly forgotten what she went through in Africa. She has strange dreams, but that's all they are to her. Dreams. Jenny recently took an interest in archaeology, and she's serious about learning about it. Michael and I support her, although we made her promise not to read any creepy old books. As for Delilah, after the fight with Lamash too, we never found her. But you know what? I haven't spoken with anyone about this, even Michael. But once, I dreamt about her. The sun was shining brightly and Delilah and Adiola were flying in the light, looking at me and smiling. When I woke up the next morning, I felt assured that everything will be fine with Michael, Jenny, and me. And I still believe that to this day. It feels good to believe again.